should develop angle versus I'm sure it's a plot line. Um, <coughs> Pretty much just, just a plot line to be used for any characters or whatnot. Okay. Yeah, that would be a natural idea because my idea doesn't include everything on that board over there, but whichever. Alright, so this one idea that is based off of um, this picture right here. It's my character, Street Fellow Black, and, that's, and he's uh, holding your daughter, Katie. Now, um, just throughout a very simple outline, I'm doing a very non exhaustive story. Just, I'm thinking, like, okay, we got 24 hours to do this. We can only do like maybe so many pages for it. So, simple story, simple outline, just pretty much drawn out right here. Now, the story takes place between um, two of my books, uh, Street Fellow Black, episode two and episode three. Just right in between that. Um, pretty much it starts off with the main character. Let's see if anybody has one of these magnets can follow along with the character. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I should have made some uh, handouts too. Oh, wait, <laughs> on my presentation. <laughs> so yeah, just so just so y'all just follow along with the yeah. characters right through. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Okay, so pretty much the story starts out with um Street, the guy in blue. Arguing with, um, let's see, I guess at this point you're not looking at white yet, um, with the uh, girl in purple on the right. That's uh, the time. Now, pretty much it starts with them arguing, which is what they do in pretty much every story. They argue in episode one, it's going to be written next year. They argue in the story I just found it. They argue in the story that I found uh, last year, but anyway. This time they're arguing about the street, the guy in blue, not pulling his way and raising and helping to raise the kids. And pretty much she makes him make a promise to help um, this little daughter walk right here for the newborn. Uh, let's pull that back up. All right. So there they are. Now, pretty much makes pretty much tells him to make a promise to help her walk, just, you know, whichever father thing. And so. So it sort of rests the street and leaves to go get something from the guy in red on here. His name is Exodo. Now he's a uh, engineer. He also does a little bit of fighting on the side because this is a very desolate, I should explain the world first. It's a very desolate world, very uh, dystopian world. And this sort of takes place after he um, he's a very major enemy. This is big. What's up? This is really, really big. It is. Yeah. Well, because what has to happen is. Let him finish his presentation. Is his pitch? Right, right. Anyway, all right. So, and pretty much, I'm pretty much a front of the story, so you don't have to know about what happened before, what happens after. But anyway, um, all right. So you need to get something. I just put that. So just come up with more ideas, like fulfill the gaps from his best friend. So it gives him a reason to leave the house, you know, for the day. It's not like just like, it's just like oh, I'm really this. So he needs to go get something. And he thinks about how he's been reluctant to be dad, just like, what is it? It's like, man, like, we just had a kid, and doesn't really want to do this, but like, setting down something after me. Because, if anything, he's been, like, in all the stories, a very reluctant guy. It's like, he doesn't really want to fight the guys, but he has the skills to do it, so he does. And then he gets the thing from his friend next to him, and on the way back, he's attacked by a split A gang. It could be one guy, it could be. Just some enemy, you know. That's something where we can also spell the blank. So I'm just leaving a lot of open to interpretation. And he's nearly killed, like as you can see. Yeah. He's nearly killed, he's nearly beat by the enemy. If anything, he takes a lot of damage, as you can see from there. Uh, let's see. But just when he's about to be finished off, he thinks about his, his family, like his friends, and everybody. And just gets that one last boost to, like, really finish off his enemy. He arrives home, he's bloody beaten, all that stuff, but he still remembers his promise. He remembers, like, wow, I could have lost everything because I almost lost my life. And pretty much in that picture right there, he finally helps his um, daughter to walk. And there you go, that's the story. So it's very, not like, pretty sensible. I have, but of course, you can see the message behind it, but you only have so much time to work on this. So I want to get a good. Story. So, what does the story come into play? What does the sword come into play? I see as a sword in this picture. Um, those, those are uh, that's his primary weapon, uh, pretty much in the uh, series. This world, is, actually, let me explain.
explain more about the world then. It takes place in uh, the year uh, 2140. Um, the world, well, at this point, the world was uh, taken over by a tyrannical force that was just called government. Pretty much, they control food supply, they control things. Did the story work in uh, the Old West? No, nah, it's just it's an urban <laughs> story. <laughs> no, I mean, sir, oh, can it work in the Old West? Can I take your story that you're telling me now yeah. and drop it in any time mm -hmm. and it still be a good story? If I can, it's not a good story. <laughs> well, you want to draw cowboys? You want to draw horses? No, 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 no,
All right, so we got our ideas out. I wanted to make sure everybody had a chance to do, get their idea. Anything? Out. No, no. No idea. No idea, Chris. No. All right, you okay? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Let's do it. So, uh, so let's cast our votes on on uh, on what we want to um, work on. We have uh, DJ Feng Shui. We got the Hit Squad. We got um, Armageddon. Armageddon, because um, I'm I'm joining with the, the idea with that he started with. Yeah. And then we got Street Pedal Black. Um, so uh, what's what's your vote? Which one you like? Uh, I'm, I'm between Funk Street and Funk Street. I didn't say Funk uh -huh. Street or Street Pedal Black. Um, okay. Chris? I'm getting. I'm getting. Um, Melvin? Uh, I'm stuck between, I like, I like the Funk Street idea, but I also like Funk Street. Okay. Tamika? I'm All right. I'm uh, Melvin, I'm getting. And... I'm again. <laughs> All right, that's uh, without kind of, uh, I'm uh, myself, and that's six votes for I'm again. Uh, I still, I still we save uh, Funk Shui for next year. I did. That, that, that way, that way, oh. you come in the ground running. We already have everything. Now here you go. Here you go. Uh, next year we're doing two uh, weekends. I haven't talked to my wife about it. <laughs> we're doing comic books. Surprise! Book. Yeah, because I've been talking to binders about it, and so they want us to do it, do some uh, co uh, comic book weekends there. Wow! Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, and so they want two because they're gonna have two locations next year. Okay. And uh, oh, yeah. and uh, That's awesome. at uh, City Hall East and uh, on Punk. That's right off the bat. And so. Uh, Isn't that close? It is yeah. right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, people are oh, okay. Back. Yeah. <laughs> And so, uh, and so they, so whatever I do here, they want me to do the second half of the year over there, wow. all over there. So we're definitely gonna have uh, one, one comic book weekend is gonna be for kids, cause, cause uh, my wife's been telling me I should uh, reach out to the kids, because the parents will pay money to have their children spend the weekend putting together comic books. Wow. 